So Maggie takes place during this zombie apocalypse where Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter becomes a zombie and instead of handing her over to quarantine zone, he decides to, to take her home and take care of her. Now I'm not going to lie, when I saw the trailer for this film I was actually quite intrigued because I was like, oh it's a zombie film, Arnold Schwarzenegger's doing a dramatic series role for once so it could be a good departure from what he's usually doing now these days. So I was actually quite intrigued by the trailer to be honest. But that's the trailer, so how's the actual film? Well, the film, it's okay. The thing that bothered me about this film is the first hour of the film, you just don't feel a connection between Arnold Schwarzenegger and his daughter. Oh, well, I didn't feel it anyway, because the whole story of this film, what, well, what the trailer told me is that Arnold is trying to protect his daughter because he loves her, but for the first hour of the film, I didn't really feel that connection because for that first hour, it's pretty much Arnold Schwarzenegger doing zombie apocalypse, post-apocalyptic dad stuff, you know, fixing up the truck or chopping wood out by in the field and stuff, and his daughter's just sat there all the time looking all moody and depressed with sunglasses on and just like a recluse in the house so I just did not feel a connection between the two for the first hour of this film. In terms of the acting, the acting was, mm, it was okay in the film. I think the one person who I didn't really like in this film was Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife. Um, it's like his second wife and his daughter's stepmom. I just felt she was just like really like not really an over actor but she just like acted a bit too much. You know like when she's talking to Arnold she's like it's okay it's not your fault you know talking like that that's what i mean by acting too much arnold in this film yeah i thought he was decent in the film and yeah I, th I think it's a nice change of pace seeing him play a dramatic role for once but let's be honest this is just arnold's paycheck before terminator genesis comes out and that's pretty much it so if you're going into this film wanting your arnold fix before terminator genesis comes out yeah just watch something else watch one of the other terminator films watch kindergarten cop commando anything that's not Maggie. A lot of the drama in this film I personally felt like it was really forced drama and forced emotion like throughout the entire film it has like the same style of dramatic music in the background can't really describe it but it's just like there's music in the background of parts where I didn't really think there needed to be music I think sometimes some of the scenes in this film would have been more dramatic if there were just no dramatic music to try force more drama into the situation. But getting into the things I actually did like about the film, I like the actual world of the film. Like at the start of the film you see Arnold driving his pickup truck through like the countryside and going into the city. Everything's all deserted, cars are abandoned, fields are on fire. It kind of looks like The Last of Us. You know the game The Last of Us? It kind of looked like that. So I do like the actual world in which the film is set. I thought the film was filmed really well and I thought the cinematography was really good as well. And by far my favourite part of the film is the last half an hour because the last half an hour is kind of what the trailer promised you the film was going to be. It's where Arnold Schwarzenegger actually starts looking after his daughter, he starts actually caring about her and starts trying to make all these really difficult decisions he has to do. And then that's the part where you actually start caring about him and his daughter. Like the first hour you do kind of care but you don't care as much as the last half an hour because some intense-ish kind of stuff and some actually intriguing stuff starts happening in the last half an hour as well and you're like yeah this is what the trailer promised me so now I'm finally get it in the last half an hour of the film but it is good the last half an hour of this film I did actually like. So to summarise the film the first hour of the film is just pretty much Arnold Schwarzenegger and his daughter just doing stuff Arnold doing post apocalyptic dad stuff and his daughter just sitting around being all depressed which obviously you can't blame her she's turning into a zombie but it is really slow paced that first hour and you don't really care about the characters that much but the last half an hour it is actually quite intriguing the last half an hour when stuff actually starts happening she starts turning more zombie by the second and it is some actually good stuff in the last half an hour i thought it was anyway but the last half an hour i don't think it could it actually save the rest of the film to be honest don't get me wrong i didn't think this was a terrible film i mean i wasn't sat there bored out my mind i just I just didn't think it was a particularly great film. So that's my take on Maggie. So my question is, what is your favourite zombie movie? Yeah, I don't. my favourite zombie film, I'm just going to go really easy and say Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> that's my favourite zombie film. It's one of my all-time favourite comedy films, but it's also my favourite zombie film. And another question, what's your favourite Arnold movie? My favourite's obviously Terminator 2, but I, I like the other ones I mentioned earlier, like Kindergarten Cop and the other Terminator films. So, all those questions and plus your thoughts on Maggie if you have seen the film whatever your thoughts are leave a comment below and if you like this stuff and you want to see more of my stuff then be sure to subscribe to my channel because I got stuff coming to you guys all the time. <laughs>